Pass alive by 454 million years. Wow! From Genesis of year till now, and today get your mind ready because you're gonna understand how the energy received from this huge star could be made. Welcome to you. I am Hafsa, and in this video, we're gonna talk about nuclear fusion and sun, but to a very creative story. So let's get started. First of all, the two main gases that form the chemical composition of sun are hydrogen by 73-46% and helium by 20-45%. As matter of fact, nuclear fusion is a reaction in which two atomic nuclei fuse together so as to form one helium nucleus with a reason of huge energy. In the sun's case, we talk about the combination between two hydrogen nucleus that we call protons. One of these two protons sacrifices. Yeah, it sacrifices and transforms in a neutron via beta plus radioactive decay. And then the resultant proton neutron forms deuterium. A third proton collides with deuterium so as to form the helium chain nucleus with excess of energy. This excess of energy is going to be disappeared as electromagnetic radiation or simply as light but with low wavelength. And finally, the helium chain nucleus collides with its similar so as to form the final helium four nucleus. But wait, what did I say? Well, as you may know, proton has positive charge. So normally, two particles having the same charge must have repulsion between them, not fusion or attraction. It's about an electric force or what we call the column's law. Let's observe this experiment. We scrap this balloon by wool so as to be charged. Then as you see now, we keep it closer to water. So they get attracted because they have different charges. Well, that's probably true in our life with normal conditions. But in the sun's core, there is an archetypal degree of here about 120 million degree Kelvin. The latest does keep the two protons as few as possible due to pressure. What about energy? Well, that's a good question. In scientific people, in order to enter, measured the mass of the four protons that came together, and they measured also the mass of the final helium for the place. Well, they really had to find the same mass, but they found that the helium for the place had less mass than the original four protons that came together. And this lack of helium mass equals exactly 4 a times 10 in power of minus 29 kilograms. In 1907, Albert is trying to distinguish relation explained that the mass and the energy are unique and that a small quantity of mass can be converted to a huge energy in this versa. Consequently, the difference that we notice between the two masses is converted to a huge energy. The latest is what we receive from it as heat, as light, and as life. 